Hey small group leaders, Pastor John here. Uh, this week we're going to be in 2 Peter chapter 2. Uh, so we're going through the whole chapter uh, and again we're continuing Peter's defense against the Gnostic heresy uh, that was floating around. So I, uh, I've chosen three points uh, for our chapter this week. The first one is when it sounds too good be, to good, oh, excuse me, when it sounds too good to be true, it is. Uh, again, this is the the promise of the special knowledge by the Gnostics um, sounding very good, and uh, and Peter deals with that. Uh, the second point is who do you hang with? Um, we're again talking about priorities and uh, in in the defense of of the scriptures and the defense of uh, living for Christ. Um, who we spend our time with is a very important point. Uh, number three. Now this is taken out of the last verse in the chapter. It says, are you a dog, a pig, or a child of God? Uh, and so we're dealing with identity. Uh, we're dealing with the child of God identity being one of a, uh, a child of God and, and in comparison to being uh, a child of the world, which, um, as we'll see in this passage, um, does not uh, give us a lot of um, credibility when it comes to living life um, correctly. So... Uh, on to the true-false questions. Uh, my first true-false question is, it doesn't matter with whom I spend my time. Jesus spent time with sinners, so I should be allowed to spend a bulk of my time with them. Uh, the answer to this is false. Uh, Jesus is God, so he spent time with sinners calling them to himself. Uh, whereas we are not God and we are apt to fall if we are surrounded too much uh, by influences of the world. Uh, so it does matter to God who we spend our time with. We're actually called to be in community first uh, and then to preach the gospel uh, out in the world. Number two, God is so good, I don't think that he minds if I spend a few years doing my own thing before really following him. Again, this one's false as well. Uh, God does care how we spend our lives. Uh, he does care how we spend our time. Three, knowing God's word will protect me from falling into Satan's trap of heresy. This one is true. Uh, the more we know of God's word, the more we know of who God is, the less likely we will be to, uh, to fall into heresy or false thinking. Uh, number four, as a Christian, I should be grieved by the sinfulness in this world. Uh, this is true. Uh, as Christians, we should be praying for the salvation of those around us, the lost and the dying. Uh, and so we should be grieved by the sinfulness we see. Number five is God is a holy and just God. That fact should make me fear him and love him. Uh, this is true. Um, knowing that God is holy and just should make us fear him. I mean, it is, a, it is wisdom that causes us to fear a holy and just God, but it is also the fact that um, we as Christians should love justice and we should love God because he is good. Uh, number six, God has so much going on, I don't think he even sees me. Uh, this is an identity question. Uh, the answer to that is false. But God is not so busy that he doesn't recognize his children and he doesn't recognize what's going on in this world. Um, we're trying to get at the heart of um, who God is, his sovereignty over everything. And, uh, and sometimes we feel small and we feel alone. And yet God does see. And that's the point we're trying to get across with that one. Number seven in our last true-false question for this week says this, In both his wrath against sin and sinner... And his grace for the repentant, God is good and just through the work of Jesus on the cross. Uh, this is a true statement. Um, God is just both in his wrath and punishment of sin and sinner. And he is uh, just in uh, putting all of our sins on Jesus on the cross. Um, and so he is good in those things. So here's our discussion questions for this week. The first one is, why does God care about who I hang out with? In what ways does my core group of friends determine who I am? Um, this is a good one that we want to push the kids in answering, not just to give us the right answer. Again, discussion questions are not geared at getting the right answer. They're geared at bringing up discussion and then correcting wrong thoughts. So um, God does care about who we hang out with. Uh, he's, he's desperate for us to be in community, and, and he calls us to that. Uh, he calls us to encourage and edify one another um, in our learning of his word and our teaching of his word. And, uh, and the second part of that question, in what ways does my core group of friends determine who I am? Uh, we are creatures of habit and we are creatures who like to be liked. Um, that is part of our, um, part of our core values really is, is we want to be um, 
encouraged for what we, who we are. And so we often surround ourselves with people who might not be great for us um, and might lead us down a wrong path just so that we can gain acceptance. And that really does determine who we are. Uh, and then our second discussion question is, what is discernment and how do I get some? Um, and the Bible talks a lot about being discerning, about uh, understanding what is right in God's eyes and what is right in man's eyes, and then finding uh, what is truly right and good. And then uh, how do we develop that? Um, the, the short answer is we do that through um, the reading of God's Word, through the studying of God's Word, and through the finding out uh, about who He is. Uh, so that's what I got for you this week. Again, if you have any questions, concerns, or um, additions or subtractions you'd like to see, uh, go ahead and send me an email. All right, have a good one. Praying for you. Bye.